so you want to make better courses in Theme Park Icon 2? In that case, this video is great for you. Today I'm going to tell you the secrets to making realistic roller coasters. Let's get straight into it. Coaster type. Let's start with the first decision you have to make before you start building. Which coaster type to use? To answer this, you first need to know what kind of coaster you want to make. You don't want to choose a kiddie coaster if you want to make it have immersions or have a launch, so choose appropriately. Elements Okay, here are the elements your coaster should always have. A station, a launch or a lift hill, and a brake run. Those are the most important elements. Of course, every single coaster can have their own unique elements. Try searching for videos of the real-life counterparts of the coaster you're planning on making. Layout and size Probably the hardest part when making coasters is the layout. I usually sketch my layouts on a notebook or a drawing program like Inkscape. When making major courses, I really recommend planning it before starting. Some of my tips for making layouts are Don't make too large layouts Try to give the coasters a bit height variation to make it less flat from the side view Try to keep the pacing good on the coasters by minimizing moments where the train goes too slow As many things in this list, you will make better layouts only by practicing Banking Banking is a thing that many people can get wrong. You want to bank your track at the turns so the riders won't experience too many lateral g-forces. Basically the faster your train goes and the tighter the turn is, the more you want to bank. One thing I see a lot of people do when building is that they don't bank the track before a turn. You should always bank your track before a turn to make it more realistic. Hard landing and smoothness. If you're working with the advanced editor, you should try smoothing and hardlining. Smoothing is pretty simple if your track segments are short. Just delete two pieces and auto-connect this as one piece. Hardlining is a bit more harder, but still simple. In hardlining, you make the track bank in a way where the apex of rotation is at the rider's heart instead of being on the track. Here's the simplest way to make it into a turn. Coaster operations Here's a quick tip, if you have the right operations game pass, you can change the lift hill speed or track friction for example. I usually change my gravity settings to 125% and boost power to 75%. You can also play around with the custom ride modes to create your own shuttle coasters. Station and decoration Lastly, decoration and buildings. After you are done with your coaster, make a station for it. There are a lot of tutorials for them if you can't make one yourself. You should also consider adding some decoration to your coaster. It can be anything. The easiest way to improve your looks are just by adding some nature like trees, bushes and stones. Bonus things to remember. Unless you are recreating a drive tire lift, please don't make a track turn, it makes it look so unrealistic. Try keeping your track at least 1 meter over the ground to make it more realistic. Build your station at least 2 blocks over the ground level. Hopefully this video helped even a bit. Tell me in the comments how many things I forgot to mention because I'm sure I forgot at least a few. And of course, thank you for watching.